Oh, a you can Community Centre, um, which, as far as I know, ran for about 40 odd years. And the way the centre started as well, it was actually like a campaign group that actually got involved to get Lewisham to provide funds for a centre. Um, one lady who I know who was very influential in that is, or was, Norma. William. Norma Williams, that's it, she passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah. But it was due to Norma and quite a few other community activists who identified the building and got funding to run it as a centre for young people in Lewisham. Yeah. And I remember passing the centre about 1978 and there was a little, little bit of a flag on that front. And I thought it was like a social club. So anyone that came into the centre and became a volunteer I realised that there were so many activities going on. It was a three-storey building. They had the photography room, no, yeah, the dark room at the top. And there was a middle section that had like um, typewriters and it was like the learning section. Then you had the ground floor and a big room at the back. And in the basement, um, in years further on from that, um, that used to house um, the was it the Tuesday night women's group? No, the Tuesday night group, but also the Tuesday night girls group. And I was well, I have been involved with the centre for more years than I can remember. Um, started as a volunteer worker, and I actually worked at the centre from 2012 to 2016 as a part-time manager. I don't know what I can say about Lewisham Way other than it offered so many opportunities to people, both black and white. I have to say that because um, one of the groups that actually grew up in the centre was a group called Adventurous Gems. And that was a group for special needs. Yeah, for Friday morning, every Friday morning. Also, organisations like the Socialist Workers Party used to hold regular meetings, meetings there. As well as, there used to be like a church group on a Sunday, there used to be a Domino's group as well, and uh, all my children actually went to the youth groups, they went to the young, well my daughter went to the young women's group, my boys went to the Friday night youth club. There were so many activities that the centre provided, but it was also a... Uh, and I have to say as well, Lewisham Way Centre, or Officer Peter that ran got the building, but when we had the building, we also had this large building we called the prefab. And the prefab was actually based at the back of the centre. And it was a very large hall, and it had glass all around. It was actually fitted out like a dance studio at one point. And it had springboard floors. Yeah, remember that? I also do step aerobics and all that type of stuff. But we also used to have dances in there, as well as um, sunset funerals you know, those type of things as well. It was a place that people could actually be part of and feel like a part of. And the amount of cooking that used to go in that little kitchen, that kitchen was tiny, but the amount of food that used to come out of the kitchen and the way how the food was cooked was just love. Yeah? Well, because Lewisham Way the Community Centre had such a good reputation in the area. Such a good reputation as well with people who used it, people who knew about it. It inspired people to do better. These are the Lucian Way Community and Youth Centre football. football. There are people that I know and that I think you all know as well. We also had a really good martial arts team. When you went into the centre, there was a huge display on the wall of the amount of cups, medals that we had as Lewisham Way. It was unbelievable. They won so many competitions in the martial arts and in boxing and in football. Very inspiring, very inspiring. And Princess Anne heard about the work that Lewisham Way did and she asked to come and visit the centre. That's how good the work was. We didn't ask her, she asked us to come and have a look because she couldn't believe the amount of work that was being done. There's a picture there of Princess Sam with Harry. And, uh, 
and that's why she came to the centre. She wanted to see the amount of work that was being done because she heard that this little centre based in New Cross, South East London, had done so much work, she asked to come and have a look. And that's what she did, and then she came. We all um, greeted her there. You know, she even met members of Genesis Radio Station, of which I was a member for, for a few years as well. Um, um, but yeah, it was just amazing. The amount of work that the centre had done, and the amount of hope that she offered to people. I have to say that because I myself made use of some of the counselling services as well that was there. Very good in terms of helping you decide on career, helping you decide on maybe relationships, helping you decide on maybe how to improve yourself. Yeah, it was just a unique centre. I have to say it was very unique and very beautiful. It had something for everyone. And it's a pity that it's not there anymore. It's like there's a hole, there's a gap. And the building is there, but it's not ours. It's not doing the work that we were doing. And it's just a pity that we've lost it because it was, yeah, it was beautiful. I have to say it was beautiful. And we looked forward to being a part of Lucian Way Youth and Community Centre. And obviously I'll probably have more memories to share later on. But I would also invite each and every one of you, if you have got memories of Lewisham Way, if you have got any memories of the work that was being done, if you've got any memories of maybe the workers or any, or any activities you took part in, you can either stop me or stop anybody else wearing yellow vests and say you'd like to share a memory. And we can either film you or write your memories down because it's important for us to keep our memories. It's important for us to keep this for our children and for our grandchildren. Just to say that we were here, we did this work. So on that note, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the afternoon and please share your memories. Please share your thoughts about Lewis and Way and we'd be more than happy to record you or write down your memories because we hope to use this to go forward into the future, maybe to provide something else similar somewhere else. The fact that it was there and the fact that we felt it was ours that's what held it together. There's a, and there was such a community out there. There's Junior here. Who's... I was one of the members from 91, I think, to 2000 and something before they closed it down. But um, yeah, Lucian Way have helped me developing um, my youth, like learning with children, how to associate myself with children. And I send big request to all, um, all the legend, Miss Naya, right here with me, I still remember. Uh, Mr. Harry Powell was a senior youth worker. The councillor was Everton Augustus. The admin was Miss Marie McFarlane. Uh, the girls' group, we got people, um, sisters like Miss Eileen Spencer, Miss Deborah Gitten, Pauline, uh, Miss Sonia, we used to do the talk shop with the ladies' group again. And yeah. Like I said, I was a caretaker and loose. I used to run the, uh, like back in the days they called it the, um, the, the PF51 building, but we know it was the prefab. But I haven't seen it since, so like they tear it down, the new owner might tear it down. And I, yeah, and I remember this so clearly when Princess Anne, she was a patron of all the youth club in the southeast, so she come and give us a visit. I just see uh, our senior youth worker, um, Mr. Harry Powell, and to the left of him, that Mr. Steve Dixon, he was part of the chair. Uh, Miss, Miss Estelle Weston, God bless her soul, she passed away, she was part of the chair as well. Uh, Mr. Devon Anson, uh, who's now principal of Peckham Academy. All the people come through this place, even um, the Reed McCoy, believe it or not, Rabbi G, Eddie Nestor, they used to do their rehearsal in that building, that very same building. Then we get free ticket to go to Stratford to see them anyway. So <laughs> it was over. Yeah, Lucian Way, I can say from 91, my grand aunt introduced me to, to Harry and them lab. Uh, Miss Barbara Robinson, bless her soul as well, she passed away. Then five years after she retired, I become the, um, like the full caretaker. Lucian Way have been helped many, many youth, youth on the corner. I'm a fine example of being amongst the great great uh, Mr. Harry Powell, Everton Augustus, you name it. Uh, Arthur, the guy used to do the, the, the film upstairs, Miss, is a shoot lady, I can't remember her name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, Lucian Way, what can I say? Yeah, it's been a pillar of the community, even along Lucian Way, it used to be Site Master. Site Master used to be along Lucian Way. I think, yeah, I think they leave, it, um, leave us some donation. So, yeah, many great come through Lucian Way. We've got cricket to come through there, uh, footballer like Roe Castle, we used to visit the centre. Again, when the Reed McCoy was going to do their thing, uh, Eddie Nesta, Rabbi G, and the next car, remember, they, they fully buy. Yeah, Lucia May was a part where they come and rehearse. Have me up late at night sometime, I want to go close the building, but they said, please, June, give me a next hour, give me a next hour. So, yeah, you should sit in with them, likewise, though. You see, people going to miss Lucia May. To me, like, I miss it, because um, in time like these now, they will be planning a trip to the museum, or up to Chessington, I remember they take us to um, American Adventure Park and I haven't heard about that no more. So they used to have a six week program for the girls and the children them to go go about activities. Yeah, this this, uh, this lady can tell you, she's been there before me and this lady's a legend in a part of the building of Lucian Way Youth Centre. Likewise, many others. Like I say, many people have passed through the centre, many singers, rappers, I'm telling you, Passed through Lucia May Center under the guidance of Harry Powell, Mr. Everton Augustus, Miss Lady, uh, Miss Deborah Gittin, um, Eileen Spencer, Miss Eileen Spencer, Pauline. Yeah, so yeah. Bless all that passed through Lucia May, but it's a shame it's have to close down. And it was the only active youth, um, youth center in a long time apart from Moonshot and um, Woodpecker. I don't want to repeat myself, but Lucian may have been a pillar of the Southeast community. Yeah, it was a pillar of the community. It, it, many activities, we used to have, uh, yeah, if my memory served me correctly, we used to have um, the boys' karate class on a Wednesday. Tuesday was a girl group. Then on a Friday morning, a guy named uh, our brother Winston used to bring in some disabled folks to they come and have tea, play pool. You know, and do their thing. So yeah, but who we'll pray solution may but I've got a booklet and thing I'm gonna to send to the brother to show you. The last time I've been in Lucia May is when we have our thirtieth anniversary at Tennessee Park. It was all yellow. That was a lovely time, bouncy castle. It's a shame. It's a, again it's a shame. It's a shame Lucia May is out of this community cause the kids them are like what I've seen in with the, the crime amongst our people, our children them that wouldn't have happened, they would have come to the centre, they used to come to the centre play pool, they have someone to go to, pool in the back, they have karate, uh, the prefab building. Yeah, again, and uh, great such as Mr. Harry Powell, Mr. Uh, and, and also Mr. Burgess. Berg, yeah, that's the next one, a pillar that helped keep the community, I mean the centre open. Again, Miss Estelle Weston, may God bless her soul. Yeah, my grandma, Miss Barbara Robinson, likewise pass on. But yeah, big up, just enjoy people and, and thanks to the brother to bring back the memory tribe, bring back the heritage. So you know they say our heritage is a thing that stand forever. So Lucia, we're gonna be standing enough for people, mind and memory. With this I say shalom and enjoy the Sabbath. Shalom. Um, I used to go to Lucian Way Community Centre when I was very young. Um, I used to go to the women's group, I think that was on a Tuesday. I used to come to the summer clubs in the summer holidays. Um, it was really good. We got a chance to meet other children in the area. I kept you out of trouble. Um, and it's definitely something that's needed to continue for the younger children of today. Um, even my son, who I'm watching, uh, we had his first birthday party there, which was 10 years ago now. Um, so it's great to have something just in the community for everyone to be involved in and throughout all the generations. Everybody, today has been about the Lucian youth community and our people have come together to unite. I'll be honest to the community, Lucian Way is a beautiful community. I grew up in it, 
with Harry Baker as he was the head man when I was there. As a roster man, he was very serious. Yeah. So when we went there, he didn't have no mocking about. He had no disrespect in the place. So everybody had a respect in the community. And it was very loving them. So now the place is all shutting down. We all must come together and make it rise again. People, sorry that I stumble. I'm dyslexic, so my words are not fully there. But trust me, my heart is there. Mm. And I want the people in the community to come together and we must rise because there's not much out there for the youth. Mm. Us as the people, we've got to put life skills there for them. Make them come together, know each other. Make them know that they are one. So they don't say, this is my end, so that is my end. North London, East London, West London, every part of London and Europe is welcome to the community. We want people to share love, bring love, and get education and go in the right direction. We have to rise as people of all nations, and everybody has to know the land. Lewisham Way is a place of love and we're bringing unity in our community. As you can see, youths have been running around the day and people have come out. If people don't love their community, they don't come out. So it's the people who don't come out are going to be the problem. And remember, so you have a bloodline just like everyone else. It's what you leave your bloodline behind. So it's you to come out and make your bloodline know the people. And then things that will stop war amongst the children. Right. Because they all should grow together. Love, peace and unity is what we bring to our community. Bless. Hello, greetings. Uh, my name is Donna Asha and I used to work at Lucian Way Centre. I used to teach at the homework club. We used to be there every Tuesday and every Thursday teaching English, maths and secondary children. This was in the 90s, because at that time our children were failing in school and we had to come up with an initiative and they already had the Saturday Club, which was excellent, Karma, all them people from New Shop Side Saturday Club, Saturday School, but we did something in the week, every Tuesday, Thursday, 4 till 6, parents came, they brought their children to us, and I'm an English teacher, but I can teach maths as well, we hired teachers, it was run by Yvette Oliver, who was absolutely brilliant English teacher, she left, I took over, so I organised it until the demise of it, and it is a loss to our community. Is a lot to our young people. Yes, there are things in place now, but we were innovators, yeah? And we have to educate our teacher. I've been teaching over 35 years, yeah? And education is a key to the door. We've got to give our children this, give them the opportunity. The Solution Way Centre, you see when it comes down, that was a loss to the community, to the black community. We need things like this. We do need to help. Look what's happening to our youth. I am Glenn Slowly. Who don't know me will know me now. The original Lonely Soldier. Woogie 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 Oh, 
today and it was a wonderful day. People who was here enjoyed it to the max. As I said, big up the community. And we hope we can do this again sometime. Next year maybe God's fear life. And so big up everyone who turned out for this event. And God bless you all. And I said, chatty chatty. That's the chorus I'm gonna say now. Chatty chatty. Alright, run it. Seems like everybody in the place I'm telling you about You're talking no kill touch Now we come back with a second one This one called, what is it first lady? You should have never chatty chatty You take the beam out of your life before you chat me Chatty chatty You must see some misery Your company chatty chatty you can't be the water you lie before you test me Chatty chatty Say you must see some misery No company Look what I'm gonna do to Harry Take story I'm gonna tell everybody Telling people about him and nobody Can somebody when no, no anybody See I'm blind now, fear and death my you end up like your little brother Jeff Some people are play fool but they won't catch wiser That's why they mouth just a get baptized Can you chat you chatty? You take the deep out of your life before you chat me Chatty chatty Say you don't see some misery Love company Chatty chatty you take the view out of your life before you shot me Chatty chatty Say you don't see some misery No company Only your friend them know your secret So only they can surely reveal it And you thanks and praise for the food of knowledge Thank Father God I went to good college Talking a cold white man get the message Solomon was white but he lost his wisdom Drink some rum now you lose your tongue Hot rag and boss boat you got me done Can you? 
Next track. This is farther than I oh I know so right now, Lucian Way, Broccoli, I yes, have you know. Yeah, I tell you the day was nice. Where were you? You miss it, you miss it, you miss it. Should have been there because right now you yeah, hear about it. We now see no more. You see next year? Be here or be over there. I was here, you was over there. Bless. A former member of the Lucian Way Youth and Community Center. And it's also an international star, you know. You know? <laughs> so put your hands together for Mr. Roger Robin! <laughs> That's so nice. It's so nice to be received that way. Bigger father than Glenn Schooley. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yes, as Sammy was saying, I used to go to the center myself. So it's an honor to be here. And believe you me, it's an honor as well as a privilege, as well as a blessing. I think the only appropriate song to do is a prayer. Bring it up. A word of children of today. Yeah, yeah. Remember your manners. Oh. Don't go to bed with no prayers. All right. When I go to my bed at night Both my eyes are shut and sing Until the morning light Watch over my little bed tonight All the free fall and all the land Take them in your loving hand event today. We, we did it a, a chance to actually celebrate Lucian Way's achievements. Um, the fact that the centre is not running at the moment, or not been running for a few years, that's one thing. But the amount of work that the centre did do actually inspired parents, young people, grandparents. It inspired and it created a, a strong sense of community. 
something that something doesn't really exist anymore because you were loyal to your centre. And Lucian Way itself was huge. We had people there like um, Eddie Nesta and Robbie G came down to do workshops and stuff like that. I also heard that um, that comedian, I can't remember her name, I don't know, Angie, Lamar. Angie Lamar was part of the centre as well. And back in the day, we had so many people popping in, popping out, contributing, even down to few people like, I'm not too sure about Joe Shaka, but I do know definitely that um, his partner was involved. She was a youth worker there as well. We've had, we, 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 we have got such a wealth in the community that Lucian Way inspired and helped to bring about. And I hope that we can carry on doing it another day like this, other events like this, to remind and to inspire people to do the same thing. Thank you. They kept us busy, table tennis, whatever, counselling even. They, they went deep. Yeah, when we had issues with one another, they helped us resolve it. They sorted out the post-Cold War thing with us. We had friends from Catford, Lewisham, Deptford, all over the place, coming to Lewisham, where you said, uh, no beef, no troubles, no wars. We just all got along. It was a yeah, it was a peaceful zone, it was a peaceful environment, there were set rules, and that's just how it was. We respected them. I made a lot of friends there, yo. I made a lot of friends there. I'm still friends with them now. I wish it was still open for my child and my children to benefit from it, car. Truly, I benefited from that place. From whatever they put in, I got something from it. Please remind the people yeah. of your name and again. I thank Gussie and I thank Harry. And I thank that establishment, really, for being a part of my upbringing because it kept me out of prison, mm -hmm. it kept me out of jail, and it kept me out of trouble. Yeah, and I'm good. You remind me your name, please, sir? My name is Neil. Neil. Harass me. Yeah, twin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Insisting that something had to be done to celebrate the youth centre, the Ocean Way Youth and Community Centre, and also everything that Maureen has said. It's fantastic. It was a fantastic place that must not be forgotten. And so when Maureen says, give your memories and so on, that's really important. These things are needed now and they don't exist. And so, I, I mean, it really tickles me to hear people adding their, their comments. But please, we have to think about how we can go forward. Little Broccoli Society will do what it can to help and perhaps, you know, give, the, give some shape. I mean, we have the insurance that could put today's event and we have certain things like that can, that can help. But it's you people who are here and those memories that must not be lost. And, you know, I'm so pleased to see people here, and I hope this can go forward. You start by celebrating, and then you work your plans for something else in the future. Yeah. And let it not be lost. That's all. Thank you. Good day, David. Can I come for you, you know? Beautiful performances from the artists, beautiful performances from Roger Rabin, Glenn Slowly, um, Father Dan. You know, I have to give thanks to Father Luce for coming here and... Um, Expressing his feelings for the community, Sister Maureen, you know, clear, without clear, it would be possible. So, thank everybody that's involved. Yeah, definitely. And of course, I'll just say big thank you to you, Fire. Fire Red! I mean, you know, hopefully we can do this again. We will do this again. We will do this again, yes. Peace. Alright. It's good to see that we still have some segment of a community. Even though it's very scary, because by right, I should have roadblock. See, because Louis Shangwe Center thing. See, and to make sure say, we don't forget Louis Shangwe Center, I like the way they put on this thing. It should have been more supportive yeah. than this. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the whole thing. Someone like Roger Rabin, Glenn Sorley, brand new coffee from the block, Father Dan. The one thing I have said, Really and truly to our God in our community now. Man, they mash up the community. We don't really have a community no more as such. Because we don't see no young guys. We don't see no young guys, you know. When we used to have, like, have them things, yeah? I mean, you pick me around, go. Everybody out, families out, communities out. But today, all right, but as long as there's a little flicker of flame, there's still hope. There's still hope for full community. Where's it? See, and more things like this, hopefully, more gathering like this, more people can talk about it, more people can reminisce. There's a whole heap of thing I would have liked to say, but the people that was here, them can go and talk and say, well, they was here. Uh, the thing done, the thing is here. The people that was here appreciate what went down. The artists, them do them thing. People, them give them speech, talk about the thing. 
Remember, you know, we are the first center, Lucia Way Center after Moonshot. See, so, and there's people here to represent from them center. But I'm here. Certain people is here. You will know. There was kids when I was here as a big man. And I was youngsters when I was here as a bigger man. And they are now as big man as me is here as a bigger, bigger man. So, the things still are going on. When you see the young youth then, this place you want to see them. When you want to see them, I run up and down and pick on my street and blue shaman deck for that street with lamb. This and lamb that and very, very, very. You understand? We have we went through it, we done it. And now there's nobody here to say we'll school to you. It's good to see. We still have the semblance. Of the community. I hope so we can build upon this. It's going to be year to year or whatever. Right. Bless up. Thank mm -hmm. you.